So a couple of days ago, I made a post. I did a community post. Nobody ever sees my community post, but that's okay. I'm going to still make them anyway. Anyways, I said, happy Hoodoo Heritage Month. And well, here go the post, right? And then somebody was like, yo, just make a video about this. And I was like, nah, because y'all niggas is going to want spells and shit. And I'm not going to do all of that. And she was like, well, just make a video about what you're not going to do all of. So here we go. A lot of motherfuckers on YouTube and a lot of motherfuckers on TikTok, they'll be giving out spells. Just like all different types of spells. And here's the thing about spells, right? If you don't know what the fuck you doing, don't get a TikTok spell. Problem with TikTok spells and these little these spells that they put online and stuff, um, the problem with that is you don't know where this spell came from. You don't know where this spell came from. You don't know why you're saying the words that you're having to say specifically in that order. You don't know why you're doing the ritual that you're doing. You don't know what the herb signifies. You don't know nothing about any of that. So basically you just summoning a whole bunch of chaotic demons. That's what you're doing. You're not making him fall in love with you. You're summoning chaotic demons. That's what you're doing. Look around. Look around. It is so spooky outside. It is so chaotic outside. Y'all did this shit with the TikTok spells. That's what happened. And here's the thing. I didn't want to do this video just because people are going to want spells. People are going to want the spells. Y'all want the cool witch shit without putting in the actual work. Okay? I'm talking about real shadow work. The people that are strong enough to manipulate someone's actual true feelings, okay, to get them to do whatever it is that you're wanting to puppet them to do, the people that are strong enough to do that, they got bigger fish to fry, baby. They doing bigger things, way bigger things. I can manipulate you. Why would I want somebody manipulated to be a boyfriend when I can manipulate a whole president? Think about that. Think about that. Why, if this person that has this love spell is so powerful and it works for everybody, if what they saying is true, ask yourself, why can't you manipulate the IRS to do away with taxes? Okay, think about that. Think about that. Now, some are powerful enough to do that, but they're doing things for themselves, not for everybody else. Give a fuck about your taxes. I'm trying to wipe out my forty-three thousand dollars in student loan debt. <laughs> and you thinking about? You think I'm worried about this right here? Y'all worried about the wrong motherfucking things. It's not about getting the words right. It's not about getting the right materials. It's not even about the intent. It's all about knowing when to do work and when not to do work. That's what hoodoo's about. You gotta know, you gotta know when to hold them, uh, know when to fold them, know when to walk away. Know when to run. You gotta know when to do it and when not to do it. You gotta know what trauma that you need to go through and what trauma that you can kind of circumvent, okay? Quit worrying about the money spells and the get a job quick spells and the get a home quick spells and quit worrying about that shit and focus on protection. Protection from ailments. Protection from people that wish to do you harm. Protection from things that block your roads. Road openers. That's a spell you can learn. That's a spell that's 10 times more beneficial than whatever the fuck you clicked on this video to learn about. <clears throat> she thought I was, you, you saw the way that I'm dressed and you thought that I was going to give you some, uh-uh. I'm going to give you a gem, honey. When you have seen the face of God, the last thing that you're worried about are these materialistic bullshits. Listen, we are only on this earth for a finite amount of time. It's like that and it's over with. So you better believe 
that I'm going to enjoy every feeling and, and feel every emotion and, and try to experience every experience that I possibly can while I'm here. Because I'm not going to be here for very long. So I'm going to do what I want to do to make myself happy. That's what this is about. That's what life is about. Experiencing, learning, and being happy. That's it. A lot of times, we like to be our own blockers, right? Case in point. That boy in your phone, that ex in your phone that you just refuse to block, and then you wonder why they always coming around, is because you're leaving that opportunity for them to come. If you don't close that motherfucking door, if you don't close that door, okay, you will end up blocking whatever's trying to come through. You hear me? You can't work a get a job spell and then not put in any applications. It don't, <laughs> it doesn't work like that, okay? You can't uh, create a, a dream home spell and then do nothing to work towards that, okay? That's with anything in life. Taking the hoodoo out of it, Hoodoo is what accelerates what you're trying to manifest. But I'm telling you, you're manifesting every day. Every time that you speak words, you are manifesting. Every time that you believe someone that says something about you, they're manifesting. And you are giving into that manifestation. Case in point, some you're, if you're... <laughs> If your girlfriend is always saying, nigga, you ain't shit. You ain't shit. You ain't never been shit. You ain't never finna be shit. I don't know why the fuck I'm with you. If, if your girl is continuing to do that and you believe that shit, that's manifestation. Okay? That's spell. That's, that's creating the spell right then and there. Okay? We manifest and we create spells every single day where the root work comes in is the alchemy part of it when you put certain things together and do them in a particular way you get a certain type of outcome small example burning sage when you burn sage people say it gets rid of all of the negative energies that are around your space, right? Okay, put science with it and you can back all of this shit up with science, all right? When you burn sage, the smoke from the sage stick neutralizes the negative ions in the atmosphere. So yes, it is getting rid of negative energies, but I like to look at it from a scientific point of view. I'm going to give you a little gem because I'm not monetized and I don't plan to be, I don't plan on monetizing this channel. Somebody want to give me some money. Hey, here go my cash app. If you want to give me some money, here go cash app, but I'm never going to monetize this channel. So I can say whatever the fuck I really want to say. Blood magic is real. It's a very real and very powerful thing, especially any type of, really any type of bodily fluids. But blood magic is real. Here's a gem, little boys. Never, ever, ever eat no type of food with red sauce given to you by a girl. Not, oh, a girl that I like or a girl that I don't like. No, don't take it. Ever. Unless you sat there and you watched her make it from start to finish. She gonna put her period blood in your spaghetti and you gonna eat it and you gonna end up walking around like Will Smith. Because that's what Jada did, allegedly, to Will Smith. Look at that whole fucking relationship. First of all, yes, that woman is absolutely a witch, okay? 
when I was younger, I had the hugest crush on Will Smith, okay? I've watched that man do everything, <laughs> okay? That man taught me what an I love me some Will Smith. Then he got with Jada, and then he turned into like a whole fucking zombie. Like his, his personhood went away, and it was like he just put on a character and went through life. He's a great actor, so we never really saw that shit until all of it culminated into one moment and it was the slap heard across the world, okay? That for that, for that sliver of a second, he broke free of that love spell she don't put on him, okay? And he didn't know what to do. He didn't know whether to slap Chris Rock or slap her or slap the bitch next to him. He didn't know who to slap. That's what happens when you put a love spell on somebody. They turn into a zombie and it's no longer the person that you fell in love with. You have to go through heartbreak. You have to go through trials. You have to go through tribulations in order to learn a fucking lesson. You have to learn the lesson. If you don't learn the lesson, you're not going to understand the spell. Let me say that again for the people in the back, okay? If you don't learn the lesson, you're not going to understand the spell. And then you wonder why this shit backfires on you. But I guess that's none of my business. I guess y'all just going to do whatever the fuck y'all want to do. Ladies, don't ever accept any food from a man that has white sauce on it don't do it don't do it if he gives you a glazed donut don't do it you better buy that shit from Krispy Kreme or Dunkin with your own motherfucking money don't do it <laughs> And then y'all want to say, oh my God, but I just love her so fucking much. I just need her to be with me. You're doing all of that out of desperation. Not realizing that the universe is going to give you what you put out. So you so desperate for this bitch to love you. You so desperate to find a new job. You so desperate to find a new home. Guess what the universe is going to give you? More desperation. That's why it's important to do the little shit, like writing in a gratitude journal every day. I am so fucking serious. If you speak out loud and or write down all of the things that you are grateful for, for that day, not only will it improve your mood, psychologically speaking, it'll improve your mood, but also it's putting out into the universe, I'm grateful for these things. Right now, I am healthy. I am grateful for my health. Guess what? My health is going to continue, okay? I'm, I'm, I'm going to continue to be healthy. And when I do get sick, it's not going to be so very bad. Why? Because I have been showing the universe that I'm grateful for what I already have. So I'm not asking you for more. I'm telling you, thank you. That's another motherfucking thing too. Y'all motherfuckers want to ask everybody to do all of this shit for you. But you never want to say thank you. Ooh. Oh. What? Oh. You never want to say thank you. You call on your ancestors for protection when you feel as though you're getting a psychic attack from your ex nigga's new bitch cause she practiced too. But see, here's the thing. The last time when they gave you that protection, you didn't say thank you or nothing. You didn't leave no offering. You don't talk to them in between spells. Y'all motherfuckers want to call on Kylie to do your bidding for you, but you never want to talk to her any other time. Y'all want Oshun to bless you with fertility and this and that and all of this and that, but y'all don't talk to her any other motherfucking time. Okay. Y'all want Ogun to fight your battles for you, but you don't talk to him any other motherfucking time. 
Why would I go to war for you if you don't even fuck with me like that? That's the shit y'all don't want to hear. That's the shit y'all don't want to hear. But yeah, that's why I'm making this video. <laughs> because lazy, selfish, just don't want to do shit for nothing or nobody but yourself. And that's all, I mean, and here's the thing. I talk a lot about being selfish. And yes, at certain points, you do have to be selfish because at the end of the day, who is looking out for your well-being? Huh? Who is looking out for your well-being? You are, you are the caring and the motherly friend. You're making, you're the one that's making sure that everybody else get ate. When you lay your head down at night, who made sure you ate? Who made sure that you drank enough water? Who makes sure you get enough exercise? Who making sure that you paying your bills on time? You. But when it comes to actual alchemy and and magic, okay, magic is all magic is is just science without an explanation. That's all it is, okay? So you want to dibble and dabble in all of this shit, right? And then and then on top of it, here's one thing that really pisses me off. I saw, I, I watched a couple of compilation videos of like spells that went wrong, right? And there was this one chick that was talking and she was like, and then I did the thing or whatever. And then I did the this or whatever. And it's like, you don't even respect what the fuck you doing. Of course it's going to backfire. Sometimes, sometimes you did all of the things right. You did everything you were supposed to do. But the universe says she playing in our face. I'm going to let this shit backfire. Because you playing. Let me ask you some Christians out there. When you talk to God. Okay. When you, when you say your prayers and you talk to God. Do you only talk to him when you need something or do you say your prayers at night and thank him for all of the things that you had? You remember when we used to say grace before we ate? We used to thank God for the food that's on our table. You remember we used to do that? We don't do that anymore. And then you wonder why so many people are struggling and starving and... Because you're not saying thank you for the food you're eating. You're not saying thank you for the water that you're drinking. You're not saying thank you for the air that you're breathing. You're not saying thank you for the health that you have. You're sitting here watching this shit on fucking YouTube. You got a phone or some sort of device and an internet connection. You are blessed. Plenty of people out there don't have what you got right now. But you don't ever want to say thank you. You just want gimme, 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 gimme. If you're not thankful for the shit that you already have, why the fuck would the universe give you more? Anyway, that's it, really. Oh, um, I saw somebody do this before, and I was like, that's stupid. I'm not finna do that. But here I go. Finna do it. <laughs> I guess, like, this top came from Amazon, like, a while ago. And this skirt, it's cute. It's cute as hell. Damn, look. Bitch, <laughs> cause you know, you know I can't have a thing without pockets, bitch. You know I can't have no skirt without no pockets, bitch. But yeah, uh, this was at the hair store. I got this at the hair shop. All right, that's it. Bye.